Welcome back everyone to another voice acting discussion video and this week I thought it would be a very fun idea to try to predict who Funimation is going to cast as a certain character. I may or may not be doing this with the other characters in Dragon Ball Super, but this is one in particular I've really been wanting to discuss and talk about because it's been a huge topic of discussion ever since this specific character has even been announced. And it is the Dragon Ball Super Universe 11 God of Destruction himself, Vermood. Now he is a clown God of Destruction um, who is even hinted at as being maybe even stronger than Beerus. Um, and he has a very clown-esque uh, appearance, and his sidekick, or not sidekick, but his angel uh, is Marcarita, who is very resemblance of a Harley Quinn-esque character. So many people have made the comparison of the Universe 11 God of Destruction Vermood as being very similar to the Joker. So whenever people have been discussing whether or not who should be the voice of uh, the character Vermood, many people have brought up the, the choice of Mark Hamill, because Mark Hamill is the most known voice actor for the role of the Joker. Now, there's many problems with this. One, the main one being is just that he's way too much of an A-list actor for uh, Funimation. Funimation has gotten a lot bigger over the years, and getting someone of that caliber a role like this wouldn't be impossible, but it would definitely be very difficult. Not only would they have to do the role, but don't forget, Dragon Ball in general, not only do they have episode after episode after episode, they also do periodic video games, which they would have to continue to call the very expensive Mark Hamill to come and continue to voice the character. And I know that Mark Hamill's done roles for cartoons before, other than just the Joker, like he was uh, Skips and Regular Show and a couple of others out there, but his main... Uh, is as the Joker, but I just think that he would be maybe a little too expensive for Funimation. And not only that, there's also a lot of tons of uh, stipulations about union and non-union because, you know, regular show, you know, while it's a cartoon, is a part of union voice acting, while Funimation is a part of the non-union. And it's very confusing, but basically if you sign into union, which is, you know, huge contract process, um, they don't really allow you the freedom to voice in non-union projects. So it's a very difficult thing to kind of work around. I do know um, Steve Bloom it, it does a lot of non-union anime work while also doing a lot of union uh, Disney XD, Star Wars, and other show stuff. I'm not entirely sure how he gets around that or what his contract is, but just because he's able to do it doesn't necessarily mean that someone like Mark Hamill would be able to do that very same thing. Anyway, the the, per the actor that I think would be a perfect casting choice for, for Vermood would be Troy Baker. He has grown um, an exponential popularity over the years, uh, because now he also has gotten into a lot of union work, uh, such as doing Justice League action that's on Cartoon Network right now. Uh, he's a really big voice of Hawkeye, because not only has he done it in the Lego movies as of recently, but he's also been doing the voice of Hawkeye for Avengers Assemble and a couple of their other big projects. But that does not mean that he has gone away from anime, because he has done uh, recently in uh, 2012, he voiced um, Ishida Mitsunari, who uh, is from Sengoku Basara, which is from um, Funimation as well. Uh, he's done a lot of voice work for Funimation. Uh, he has done Eden of the East. Um, he was in Vampire Knight. He was in Slayers Re uh, Evolution R, which again, another Funimation property. Um, and the main one that I know him from is from Soul Eater. He was the voice of Excalibur. Uh, a very hilarious character. But one of the main reasons why I think he would be probably the perfect casting choice is because he's done the voice of the Joker in more than one occasion. He's done the voice of the Joker in the Batman Unlimited cartoon, um, as well as his main uh, appearance as the Joker in Arkham Origins. 
so he would be, in my opinion, the perfect casting choice for Vermood, because not only does he sound almost exactly like Mark Hamill, without having that A-list, um, you know, impossibility of getting uh, for that role, uh, but he sounds like Mark Hamill, he is a amazing actor, uh, and he's done these crazy types of characters before, though Vermood and the Joker are character-wise, are not entirely similar. Um, and I think if they were to cast anybody, if they cast Mark Hamill, I feel like that's way too much of, like, a nudge to the audience of, like, hey, you know, we're trying to make him be like the Joker, you know? Because this character is not the Joker, right? But it, it, he does resemble him, and he has other aspects that contact his lore, such as the Harley Quinn-designed uh, angel um, so I think casting Troy Baker would be the better option because it is kind of a more subtle nudge to the audience of like, hey, look, we've got a Funimation voice actor who, oh, he just so happened to have also voiced the Joker in many other major roles before. Hmm, isn't that a coincidence? Um, but because if you, if they cast Mark Hamill, that's not a coincidence. That's a uh, or this is even casting Troy Baker wouldn't even be a coincidence. But it would be a subtle nudge. Uh, casting Mark Hamill wouldn't be a subtle nudge. That would be a a punch to the face of like, hey, look, uh, we're trying to make this character be like the Joker. But if casting Troy Baker, he's been in a lot of other Funimation voice work before. Um, it would just be a very subtle nudge to the audience. And I think he would be very perfect for this role because Vermood, again, is not the Joker. He's not this, you know, killer. He's not, you know, he's a god of destruction, yes. But we've seen that he's very different from someone like Beerus or something because he's not evil. His, uh, his main fighters for his universe are the Pride Troopers who basically fight for... Um, good. They fight for good. Now, we we might see another side of Vermood, possibly. Maybe possibly Vermood has his other side to him. But from what we've seen, um, Vermood seems to be very close to the Pride Troopers. He seems to put a lot of trust and faith in them as his uh, warriors who help defend his universe. And Vermood seems to be the god of destruction that would only kill and destroy if only because it's his job and he has to, because he has to maintain that balance within his universe. Um, though clearly he hasn't been doing that good of a job if he wasn't exempted from the Tournament of Power. But that is another video for another day. Um, what do you guys think of the casting choice of uh, Vermood as... Uh, or I'm sorry, as Troy Baker as Vermood? Uh, in my personal opinion, I would love uh, this casting choice. I think it's absolutely perfect for the character. Um, and just that, just giving the audience that subtle nudge of like, hey, we understand that the audience recognizes this character as resembling another character from, um, you know, other fan lore from another fan base. Um, and it would just be a very fun, subtle nudge to us just saying, hey, look at, you know, we, we get you guys, we understand. Um, and I think it would be very... I don't know. I, this is a very fun topic to discuss. I might do more of these of, of who I would like to see. But this is just the most obvious one to me because obviously you see a clown character uh, who very much resembles another clown character from a very other popular series. And, um, you know, he's just got so many aspects about him that resemble this other character, uh, such as the Harley Quinn and just the makeup and everything about him. But his personality is not the same. So Troy Baker would definitely have to channel kind of channel his his joker performance from arkham origins um but while at the same time giving an entirely different and completely new performance basically i could I, i'm trying to imagine a joker who isn't a psychopath who isn't evil um is very not soft-spoken but is very strong in his voice but again he's not crazy he's very straight if that makes sense because that's the, what the character we've seen so far is he's just been very very straight very um to the point but uh he's not evil at least we haven't seen him to be as of yet again he is very close to the pride troopers in his universe which means that 
he's got to be somewhat good. Um, but anyways, guys, leave your comments down below. Who would you like to see cast as Vermood? Personally, I would love to see Troy Baker in the role. I think that is probably the as perfect of a casting choice as we could ever get, and that would be possible for Funimation. Um, but it's up to you guys. Leave your comments down below. Let me know who you would love to see in the role, and uh, I will catch you guys in the next video. Bye.